Hi, I'm Joseph Huff, the STEM Youth in Action winner for 2020, sponsored by HughesNet. I became passionate about 3D printing because of all the possibilities it unlocks. It is such a cool technology because it is a way of making a physical object from a 3D digital model, using a machine that lays down many successive layers of a material. What I love about it is the idea that I can design and make things that otherwise couldn't be created. 3D printing lets people in all industries create products faster and more affordably than ever before. Home builders can even use 3D printers to build houses now. The first time I saw a 3D printer, I was blown away and it made me want to learn more. I signed up for a community class and then learned everything I could about this technology. Part of my learning process was learning how to use a program called 123D Design before I ever actually printed anything. As I learned how 3D printers work and what their limitations are, I was able to print my first items. Since then, I have learned to 3D print pieces of my 3D printer when it needs an upgrade. 3D modeling has taught me a lot of patience. It has also taught me how to visualize the steps needed to create a final product. Today, I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to design and make something with a 3D printer. I'm going to use the popsicle stick boat from the 4-H STEM lab activity I created as the model for a small plastic boat design for a 3D printer. Now I'm going to introduce you to a website that you can use to create designs for a 3D printer. First, go to Tinkercad.com. Next, sign into Tinkercad, then create a new design. To orbit, right click and drag with your mouse. To pan, which is to move side to side, you click and hold the middle scroll wheel button and drag. You can also move around using the view cube in the top left corner by left clicking and dragging. Now, drag a cube from the bar on the right, then flatten and stretch it using the small black boxes that appear around the object until you like the dimensions of the hull of your boat. Next, drag the shape called the round roof into the workspace. Rotate it 90 degrees, then flatten and stretch it to the same height and width as the hull of the boat. You are then going to select both parts and group them using the group tool in the upper right corner of your screen. Now copy and paste the whole shape that you just grouped and then when selected, choose the whole option in the top right hand corner. It looks like a gray circle with lines through it. Once it is a whole, you can scale it down to fit in the middle of your boat. This is going to be the cutout where the propeller will be. When you have it scaled and fitted exactly where you want it, you can group the hull and the boat together just like we did before. Once the base of the boat is finished, we need to add posts for the rubber band to go. To do that, you are just going to grab a cylinder from the side panel and then scale it to whatever size you think would work best for your boat. Next, copy and paste the cylinder that you just made and position them so that they are across from each other on opposite sides of the hole in the hull. Once you put them where you like them, then group all of the parts together. Finally, we need to make a paddle. To make it, all you have to do is flatten the cube, copy and paste it, and rotate it 90 degrees. Do this by using the little curved arrow icon in the corner so that the paddles are perpendicular and intersect in the middle.
When you are making the paddle, you want to make sure it will fit loosely so that there is a little wiggle room in case the paddle wobbles in the water. Feel free to decorate it or modify it in any way that you want. These are my 3D printers. They're all set up and ready to go. I won't walk you through the steps of doing this because it's its own complex process. You can go to 3dinsider.com under the 3D printing tab, click beginner's guide to learn about setting up your 3D printer. It is super fun to watch your design being printed. Here's a time lapse of the entire boat being printed. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun learning about 3D printing. To learn more about other great STEM activities that you can do at home, including ones that don't need a 3D printer, go to the 4-H at home page on 4-H.org.